Baylor University has decided to cancel in-person classes as worries continue to rise. As 25 News reporter Olivia Leveda explains, the decision comes as spring break is also being extended an extra week. That's right, and I spoke to a couple of students who described the situation as nerve-wracking. Baylor University student Leighton Glim just found out his spring break will last a lot longer than expected. I think it's, it's kind of scary. It's, it's kind of unprecedented that we have to cancel classes basically and do online classes. University officials made the decision as the number of coronavirus cases spiked across the country in recent days. I think it's kind of nerve-wracking that it Obviously, there's stuff that I don't know about coronavirus. Spring semester is expected to resume March 23rd. However, classes will be held online until April 3rd, and faculty will use next week to prepare for online course delivery. This is a rapidly evolving situation, uh, but again, the health and safety of our campus community, uh, that uh, was the most important thing as far as making this particular decision. Baylor student Brooke Hill is in the school's New York program. The state now has more than 200 confirmed coronavirus cases, and she says she's been doing everything she can to protect herself. Kind of been nervous. I have a friend who's working in a hospital, so she's kind of been trying to keep us updated. We have a program director who's the liaison. Um, he messaged us last night and initially told us that he wanted us to work from home through the end of next week. In the meantime, Glim says he's taking his own precautionary measures. Trying not to touch my face as much, which that's still difficult to do and I'm trying to just disinfect everything. Now, Baylor University officials say they will continue to monitor coronavirus conditions and a future decision will be made as to when face-to-face -face classes will resume. Olivia Leveda, 25 News. Olivia, thank you. Residence halls and designated dining facilities will be open based on demand during the next few weeks. However, the university is asking students to, to decide whether their campus or permanent residence is the best place to stay.